Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We have weather in five, five days and five minutes on a Friday as we head into a weekend. And a bit of an interesting development overnight with our coastal storm that has been sitting offshore now for the last two days. It's actually uh, looked like uh, it's uh, acquiring some tropical characteristics to it. Uh, and you'll see it on the satellite loop in just a second. This is going to be another day where just inland of the coast, uh, we're going to probably see uh, uh, breaks of sunshine, particularly as you go further west uh, into uh, Pennsylvania, while areas to the east are going to be sitting in clouds. doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on radar-wise, so I'm not really too concerned uh, other than maybe a spot shower or two in areas as you go east of New York City. And of course, there's hardly any chance of that as you go to the south and west. But let's uh, let's look at what's going on this morning. And uh, we're going to uh, jump over to uh, the uh, satellite view. And uh, you'll see here what's happened overnight. Uh, we've gotten this uh, uh, development of uh, convection uh, in and around uh, a, a much better defined circulation center. It's kind of uh, losing its um, non-tropical characteristics. And what's happening is uh, the actual surface low um, is uh, sitting over relatively warm water here uh, off uh, the Atlantic coast, uh, right in there. And the low center, by the way, is well to the east of what was um, some models were forecasting here back uh, the last couple of days. Uh, we, we had seen this was supposed to sort of loop back to about 71 or 72 west and, and then move out to the northeast when, in fact, it's a good uh, 150, 200 miles further to the east. And as a result, we saw beautiful weather conditions yesterday just inland of the coast. And that, again, uh, today, uh, it might be a bit of a harder uh, sell um, with the lower clouds trying to push westward. But just uh, if this winds up getting and becoming a named uh, system, uh, wouldn't it all be surprised? Of course, we have coastal flooding going on uh, with high tides. That's going to continue today from the Delmarva Peninsula all the way up through uh, southern and southeastern New England. And we are seeing uh, the... Uh, rain on the radar, not really um, all that much of it. We're seeing a little bit of it over over southeastern New England near Cape Cod uh, down to Hyannis. But uh, as far as rain uh, uh, going back further to the west, just not picking up on that. We're also seeing some showers uh, coming into Illinois and Indiana. Now that is with the storm that uh, brought uh, some heavy snows up to the Great Plains, particularly the Northern Plains. And uh, that is moving eastward. So for the time being, you, you sort of have this one system out to the east coming in one direction, going, going westward, uh, or, or at least southwestward. And then you have this other system just to, the, to, to our west that's trying to move eastward and get all of this out of the way. The bottom line is that uh, today is going to be, let's call it okay, uh, if you are in areas where you've got clouds to deal with, the particularly along the immediate coast and eastward. Uh, so if you're in, uh, say, in this particular zone, you're going to probably have a tough time uh, getting temperatures much out of the 50s. Uh, if you are west of here, you will you will see some sunshine today, and that'll boost temperatures up at least into the uh, middle and upper 60s. And as far as the weekend is concerned, now on Saturday, the low is going to start to pull away. We still may have some cloud issues to deal with along coastal areas, but I'm thinking that we'll have at least some breaks of sun uh, to uh, enjoy uh, areas to the south and west, and that'll take uh, our temperatures up uh, into the uh, upper 60s to around 70, while to the north and east of it, we're talking about temperatures mostly in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Sunday, with a, uh, a, a front that's already going to be going by, uh, got, would have already gone by, briefly stalling out to our south, and we're going to see a little bit of, uh, of a wave develop on it, a weak one. We'll have uh, maybe some sun early giving way to arriving clouds. Temperatures are going to be mostly in the 60s, and I'm thinking we'll probably see a little bit of rain here Sunday night uh, as this uh, wave ripples by, kind of get a second front to come through here early Monday morning. And after that, Monday, it looks like we'll have some sunshine and clouds with temperatures uh, mostly in the lower 70s from northeastern Virginia on up into southern New England. Tuesday, 
Uh, we'll have some arriving clouds with the next cold front that's going to be coming in from the west. And highs will be mostly in the 60s to around 70. Wednesday, that front comes through with a pretty good chance for showers for the entire region uh, from northeastern Virginia to southern New England, uh, upper 60s to low 70s. And then behind that, some very, very cool air coming in for next Thursday and Friday. So here's how it looks on the uh, surface map today. Uh, there's our offshore low. Still churning there for another 24 hours or so. Then starts to get kicked away to the northeast tomorrow. The front to the west weakens as it moves uh, to the east. And then Sunday looks okay. But you can see there's this little bit of a wave. A uh, little uh, front here with just a little bit of a wave that develops. And then you've got this, what's left of the uh, Great Plains storm. So there's a, a bit of a secondary front that's going to be pushing through. So we'll get into uh, a chance for some showers here. Uh, for Sunday night and Monday, you can see most of the showers pass by uh, uh, to the uh, over New Jersey uh, into uh, southeastern New York, southern New England, down into uh, Delaware and eastern Virginia. They kind of miss much of Pennsylvania, and then they move out. Uh, we'll be dry Monday into Tuesday. Nice little high builds on in. Uh, we'll have arriving clouds Tuesday night, and here comes the next stronger cold front for Wednesday. And there's a little. Uh, there's a little low that's going to develop on this uh, somewhere in the Carolinas. So I think this is actually going to bring some much needed rain uh, for the southeastern part of the United States where it's been so bone dry. And after that goes by, uh, it's a fairly decent shot of cool, dry air that comes in here uh, into the northeast on gusty winds for Thursday and for uh, Friday uh, before uh, the uh, next weather system begins its approach. And the general pattern overall, I believe, is going to be for cooler than average temperatures uh, for, uh, for um, next week and beyond once we get this front to come through through the middle part of the next week. Look, bottom line is the weekend, I, I think, looks for the most part okay, especially if you're away from coastal areas with this storm still hanging around Saturday morning. So you might see some cloud issues. I don't really see any rain issues of consequence from the, the offshore low. And then we have to deal with that um, uh, weather front uh, that will st stall out briefly to our south and, may, and perhaps bring some rain or showers here Sunday night into early Monday morning. But I think much of the day side this weekend for Saturday and Sunday uh, will be rain-free. So thanks for, uh, uh, very much for joining me this morning on Weather in 5. Uh, we'll have website posts coming out later today. Make sure you download the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app uh, from on Google Play or on the App Store and the Ang Angry Ben's uh, weather app, the Angry Weatherman, which is available on Google Play for Android. Both apps are absolutely free and uh, time permitting, we'll hopefully see you on a live stream tonight on my YouTube channel at 7 o'clock Eastern Time.